with so many businesses closed and residents still sheltering in place, has this had an impact on crime in the Valley? The Fresno County Sheriff's Office has been keeping track of recent decreases and increases of certain crimes. We now bring in Tony Body with the Fresno County Sheriff's Office to explain the trends they're seeing. Tony, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, you put out some crime statistics uh, for the Fresno County Sheriff's Office, and it looks like crime is down in many categories, I would imagine, because people are sheltering at home. Can you explain uh, what you've seen? Yeah, you're exactly right, Stephanie. So what we wanted to do is we kind of wanted to get a snapshot of where our crime numbers were before this stay-at-home order was put in place versus after. So we basically took uh, March 12th as the starting point, looked the 40 days previous and the 40 days after. Uh, what we notice is that our uh, property crime, so anything with theft, uh, that's down considerably, about 44% uh, during this period we're in. And then also societal crimes, uh, drug cases, uh, DUIs, things like that. Uh, those are down about 35%. Uh, our violent crimes are up just a little bit, 8%, and most all of those uh, go to assaults. Um, so that could be you know anything from a street fight to uh, domestic violence in the home. Um, and you know, we don't know for sure the reason, but there are chances that because everybody is in such uh, close confines with each other right now, uh, maybe some people are wearing on each other's nerves, uh, some arguments come up that wouldn't otherwise. There's stress uh, with the job environment, the economy, um, and that could lead to that physical violence. Yeah, that's definitely, com one thing is compounding on the other. And really, uh, there, what sort of advice can be given to try, I mean, people need to have, you know, to cool off, find a way to cool off, but there's really not a whole lot you can do to manage that in terms of your, your department. Yeah, I mean, all we can do is educate people with, hey, if, if it seems like it's getting, um, uh, you know, a little too testy around the house, you just don't want to deal with it, you know, step outside, go for a short walk, just blow off that steam, um, call somebody, whether it's a friend or a family member. Uh, if it's something more serious, obviously call us or your local police agency, uh, the Marjorie Mason Center, if it's domestic violence. Uh, just have somebody with an ear there that you can talk to for a few minutes to try and settle things down and, and best prepare you of what you can do to get away from a violent situation. Yes, um, oh, that's of course great advice. In the property crimes category, I noticed that vehicle theft was up, which was kind of interesting when you consider people are at home and their vehicles are at home. You know, why, why, why could that potentially be up? You know, we don't know the exact reason of why that would be. Um, you know, criminals are still opportunists, so, uh, you know, we can still get a little busy and forget to do something, and it allows us uh, ourselves to be susceptible to maybe uh, somebody getting to our vehicle. Um, we do know that break-ins to vehicles, that's actually down a little bit. Um, and I think it's just the fact that the opportunities overall are down. You have businesses closed, uh, streets are more silent, uh, everybody's home and nobody really wants to confront somebody in order to commit a crime. So they kind of take that hands off approach to many homes. Um, burglaries are still pretty um, consistent, uh, but we've noticed a shift that a lot more commercial burglaries are happening rather than residential. Okay. What about repeat offenders with the zero bail order? People are being released from uh, from the jail and, and they're out in the community again. Are these people recommitting crimes or reoffending, or do you have any information on that? You know, that's a great question. And ever since we implemented this on April 7th, it's something that uh, we want to start tracking. So uh, whenever somebody does get released under the Rule 4 Emergency Zero Bail, uh, we're going to take a look at if they get booked back into our jail. Um, you know, we can categorize that and know that they were out on a release and here they are again. Um, that's some solid data that we want to be able to back up and show, uh, hey, is this working or are our people not getting the message? If, if they do reoffend, are they released again under this order or does a repeat, a repeat offense keep them behind bars? Uh, it depends on what that offense is that they commit. So um, if it was maybe like a drug possession charge that got them in and then they have another drug possession or a petty theft that brings them back in, uh, they're likely going to be released again with zero bail because uh, that rule just looks at your most recent crime. So if they do something more egregious, something violent, 
um, one of the higher level crimes, that's when they would likely uh, be held and actually have to have cash bail set. Well, it's all very interesting uh, just to see how crime has been impacted by this pandemic, just like everything else has been impacted. Tony Body with the Fresno County Sheriff's Office, we sure appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thanks, Steph.